now there is an article of the mentally deranged shooter Kyle Greenhouse. As the dead man's father is making an emotional plea for higher amount because you know Kyle Rittenhouse at the end of the day um, shoot a couple of innocent people and as the Wisconsin court commissioner left Kyle Rittenhouse's bail unchanged at 2 million Monday after an occasionally heated online hearing for the I cannot pronounce that word but it says an up 17 year old who faces charges stemming from the fatal shooting of two men and the wounding of a third during August protests in Kenosha. So again, Kyle Rittenhouse is a criminal because he shot his and protesters who were protesting in Kenosha. Both Rittenhouse's lawyers and the father of one of the men killed spoke loudly and pointedly as they clashed over the facts of the case and whether the teen might flee if released from Kenosha County Jail. In the end, Court Commissioner Warren Keating ruled for a bail amount as the same as the one a judge set some two months earlier when Ren House was charged. The hearing was the first since Lake County Sheriff's Dark Deputies Handed off Greenhouse to Kenosha County offices Friday afternoon. His transfer immediately came immediately after a Lake County judge rejected his lawyer's efforts to block his extradition from Illinois to Wisconsin. Kenosha County prosecutors have charged Greenhouse with shooting three men with an AR-15 style rifle on August 25th during protests over a white police officer. Houston Skyski's shooting of a 29-year-old Jacob Blake, a black man, days earlier. One speaker at Monday's hearing was John Hoover, the father of Anthony Hoover, a 26-year-old skateboarder from the Silver Lake, who was shot and killed in the middle of the street. John Hoover asked King to increase Manhouse's bail to four million or even ten million, calling the the defense argument that Rinhouse was was defending himself impossible. He also lashed out at President Donald Trump, who told reporters the team probably would have been killed during the confrontation. How dare he! He needs to just stay on Twitter, Hoover said. My son was a hero. He tried to stop Rinhouse. And that's the thing. If you have a gun and you proceed proceeded to kill innocent people, like uh let's say two years ago Nicholas Jacob Cruz who went into the to a Parkland, Parkland, Florida high school and shot at least 17 people. He would serve his time in prison for a long time, for life. So the same has to go for Kyle Rinhouse. Assistant District Attorney Thomas Billinger Finger asked for the bail amount 
to remain at two million and suggested that the team might leave the if he is released. You know that Earn has his own and touch and that his lawyers put his objection to Wisconsin. Finger pointed out that the teen is charged with murder along with several other counts and he could face a life sentence if convicted. These charges are as serious as we get in Wisconsin Villager set. Someone who is facing these types of charges has the strongest possible incentive to not return to court. One written house of the lawyers, Mark Richards, argued that the team wouldn't flee and noted the mad video from the night of the shooting showed him apparently trying to surrender to police at the scene. Then Richards pointed out that Rittenhouse was arrested the next day after he voluntarily went to the Antonch police station that his mother records released Friday show that Rittenhouse cheerfully told police I shot two white kids which he did and I just don't think he shot them because it was self-defense I mean, the only people who were not in self-defense are the ones who were targeted with a gun and got shot by a man, by a team who had a gun illegally. Richard, who asked for a $750,000 bail continued the team's legal team approach of asking, attacking prosecutors and arguing that self defense cases are overwhelming. We are not talking about demonstrators, we're talking about rioters who had ill intent in their heart, and unfortunately, they came in second, he said. The man who was shot and wounded that night. Gage Gross Creatures of West Alice was pre present for the online hearing but did not speak. His lawyer Kimberly Motley asked for a bail amount of four million. Rittenhouse appeared in a via video in a dark jail shirt and orange face mask because of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic he spoke about briefly. He spoke only briefly after the judge asked him if he understood a technical legal question about his rights. In the setting of the two million bail, Keating pointed out to the incredibly serious charges and heavy potential counties as he found that Renaus would pose a risk of fleeing. He barred him from having contact with various people involved in the case and set another hearing for December 3rd. In Illinois, detainees generally pay 10% of their bail to be released, but the rules are different in Wisconsin. Officials from the Kenosha County Prosecutor's Office said Renaus's allies would need Pay the full amount. His lawyers have thrilled account fundraising efforts for the teams. Legal defense and since his extraction trial have called for demonstrate donations to pay his way out his entering link to his legal team estimating Monday that they were six hundred thousand dollars short. I mean this is just ridiculous of what Ren House had to do. I mean, he knew what he got into. He knew that by shooting an innocent person, minding his own business, protesting, he had to go out of his way and shoot or wounded a couple of people. 
who were minding their own business protesting and he got in the way of that by using a gun that he probably shouldn't even have because he's only 17 and he's not registered to have a gun until like age 21 or age 20 depending on on how old you're supposed to have a gun if, if you're registered. You cannot register a gun at 17. Like, that's ridiculous. Rittenhouse's House's case became a popular cause among conservatives and gun rights activists almost immediately after the shootings, which happened as the team of heavily armed police inserted themselves into the protest that raged for several nights in Russia. And the only reason why conservatives and gun rights advocates are like excited for Kyle Rinhouse is because they want power. They always want power. They don't want so they don't want peace and tranquility. They want power. They want to dictate people. And that's what conservative that's what right wing conservatives and gun rights activists want. Kenosha County prosecutors have written that video from the night of the shootings showed a team running across the parking lot trail by Joseph Rosenbaum, 36, of Kenosha. The witness told police that Rosenbaum, who appeared on video to be armed, had tried to grab the gun before he was fatally shot. Prosecutors wrote. The teens' lawyers allege in their petition fighting for the extraction process that Rosenbaum friend Rent House chased him lunch for his gun. The team fired on a grave risk of immediate harm, the petition said. Yeah, he fired that to kill somebody who was minding their own business to protest. Greenhouse ran before someone knocked off his hat, and he tripped and fell across the Hughes road, and Hoover approached with his skateboard and tried to grab the gun as as the skateboard made contact with Rittenhouse's shoulder, prosecutors wrote, the gun man then fired a shot that killed Hoover, prosecutors alleged. Rittenhouse's lawyers argued in their feeling that the skateboard hit the team's head and shot Hoover as they wrestled over the rifle. Prosecutors Wrote that Rittenhouse then shot Gro Gross Creek Troops, who uh, appeared to be holding a handgun when he was wounded in the arm. The team's lawyers contended in their filing that Gross Creeps lowered his handgun in Rittenhouse's direction. Well, here's what I think. I think that Friend House really deserves a four million dollar bail. And I really do think that Friend House should serve his time in prison because again, he's not a hero. If Friend House was a hero, he wouldn't be shooting people who were minding their own business protesting. And he happened to be there to get in the way. I mean, if he wanted to be a cop so bad one day, but he didn't get the proper training in, well, now he can do that in prison, which 
he will he will be charged he will he will he will be charged mark mark my words that he will serve his time in prison for the rest of his life that will happen and his lawyers who say otherwise they don't have all the all the understandings of evidence that that Rinhouse himself wanted to be another another Nicholas Jacob Cruz who shot innocent people because he hates his own life and he wants to kill those who are in it. And I hope Rinhouse doesn't get bailed out and I hope he stays in prison for the rest of his life. I really, really do. Besides, I don't think people like that should exist within reason to live outside of jail. I think Renaissance should at least be in jail and not be in other people's lives. Because guess what? He messed his own life up. He will serve his time for the rest of his life in prison.